All right, hello class and welcome back. This is our week nine introduction video, video to the topic of Islam. Uh, and with this week's topic, we will be completing the last of the major world's religions. Uh, I do hope that in the previous eight weeks uh, that you have come to a better understanding of the world's religions and from a comparative standpoint, uh, feel more comfortable understanding how these religions are connected to each other uh, understanding their shared values, shared practices, or similarities between their beliefs and their worldviews. If for no other reason than that you can be a better, more informed uh, world global citizen. Uh, this week uh, I do need to announce that there will be no uh, religious discussions with Islam. Uh, I did, uh, the speaker that I had scheduled uh, was unable to um, go through with his obligations and as such uh, we will not be having him join us on Wednesday. Uh, as a result I've, I'm reverting back just to a traditional discussion board for our Wednesday assignment uh, and then there are no larger um, weekly writing assignments due this week. Instead, um, as this is week nine, I should remind you that your ethnography will be due on Sunday. As a reminder, this project encouraged you to go into a local church, um, a religion that is not familiar to you or is different than your own personal um, experiences, uh, and then to write about your experiences, uh, to reflect upon what you saw and to analyze from a comparative standpoint um, what you witness and what one could expect to witness in other faiths and other traditions. I encourage you to uh, use a critical eye. Um, you can certainly speak to some degree about what happened, and the uh, procession of events, uh, who spoke, and about what topics. But really, the majority of your paper should be in that analytical perspective. Um, and so for that, you can focus on really anything that, uh, that you witnessed uh, in, your, in your visit. Uh, you can talk about... Um, the interactions between the minister or the priest or the religious leader and the body. You can um, look at things like songs or hymns or the role of music. You can look at more symbolic um, things like ordinances um, such as sacraments. Uh, maybe you want to look at, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the words escaping me. Anyways, uh, other types of symbolic um, gestures uh, in artwork, as I said previously in music. Uh, but for the most part, this should be, as I said, an analytical assignment uh, in which you are posing questions and responding to those questions that can be found in the assignment prompt. Uh, again, this assignment is due on Sunday. If you have questions about it uh, or about any of the other materials that we are using this week uh, or, or have used over the course of this term, please do not hesitate to email me. Let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to address these issues to ensure that you have all the tools necessary to be successful in this assignment and in the course. All right, good luck to you this week in learning about Islam. Um, this is the month of Ramadan. So if you'd like to uh, take part in an uh, Islamic uh, holiday, then I welcome you or invite you uh, to to begin your day with a fast and try not to eat anything until after the sun sets. All right, uh, best of luck to you this week.